Um, but that's what I would probably change uh, is just spending time, you know, finding those doctors to go and intern with, um, to be able to learn those, those, those idiosyncrasies and the things that you just aren't going to pick up in the colleges, which you just can't learn in the colleges. They don't have the time to actually teach it in the colleges, the real life experiences, you know, that you can get. Before I do that, I want to ask you, what was your biggest mistake you made right in the beginning? Or what rather, what would you, I mean, everything happens for us, right? So it's like a, our journey is our journey. It wouldn't change anything. But if you had to go back now and tell your, your younger self, uh, opening practice, what was probably the biggest mistake that you made or even the mistake you see or wish that one thing that you, you had, wish you had known back then? What would, what would you say if I say that to you? You know, I, I, I wouldn't change it just because yeah. of the yeah. times that we had back then, you know, but if I was to do it over right now, yes. what I would do is I would spend some time in people's offices and, and really learn, you know, what, what we're doing at Life West right now is we're, we're setting up a preceptor program. Our students are last quarter can go out and learn from doctors and, uh, and work in their offices for a quarter, you know, anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world probably that they can go to. Um, and it's, that's what I would do. I would spend more time in doctors. It just wasn't available back in the 80s, you know, in the early 80s. It wasn't like there was doctors on every corner and it wasn't as, uh, it was just different. You know, the, the mindset was a little different. So, but, you know, you take, you take the time while you're in school to learn what you need to learn and you do the same thing um, you know, when you get out for maybe a month or two, or maybe do a, you know, do a boot camp with a doctor for, for six months, if you don't feel you have it, you know, I feel the school should be preparing them though. And, and that's what we're doing at Life West right now. So we set up something called our, our clinically inspired learning, uh, track. And it's a new, it's a new, uh, uh, I want to say not curriculum because we're using the same curriculum, but it's a new educational track that we're doing where our students are getting into clinic in second quarter doing observations and they're touching patients earlier and they got almost a whole year of clinical experience more than our than we've had previously um, and it's just really kind of setting them up for clinical success because listen let's face it 99 percent of our students uh, you know are going to be graduating doctors are going to be clinicians you know 99.9 probably not many are going to necessarily go into research which we love them to but, you know, we're really focusing on the clinically inspired learning where they're learning the clinical aspects, not in their last year so much, but all the way through and they're getting the academics to support it. Um, but that's what I would probably change uh, is just spending time, you know, finding those doctors to go and intern with um, to be able to learn those 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 idiosyncrasies and the things that you just aren't going to pick up in the colleges, which you just can't learn in the colleges. They don't have the time to actually teach it in the colleges, the real life experiences, you know, that you can learn.